Welcome to Utah's Fly Corner. Today I'm going to show you how to tie Oddball Quill Gorgon. It's a great fly. Hook I'm going to be tying it on is a Dodge, Dodge 1170. It's a standard wire hook. Um, and I'm going to tie it on a size 16. Uh, I tie these size 16s, 18s, um, 20s even work. Um, Quill Gorgons are bigger than that. Um, but uh, this is, like I said, an Oddball. <laughs> and, uh, it works great for a lot of hatches. Uh, but the uh, thread I'm going to be using is black Montana Flyco and 8 op. I'm going to start my thread up here by the front. I'm going to run it down about halfway. And come back up about halfway. I'm going to tie my uh, wings. And the uh, wings are going to be your standard Gordon wings, which are. Uh, wood duck feather, eleven wood duck. What I did was I stripped the fluff off in the bad, and the not so well marked, and I cut the tip out of it. I'm gonna show you how to do the wings this way. You can just take clumps and put it on, um, but this way uh, guarantees that you get a uh, pretty much even even amount. Make sure she's on top. Take three loose turns. And I'm just going to pull on the feather. Just make sure everybody stays on top. Just pull on that feather. Don't pull too hard or else you're going to rip it right out of there. Just take your time when you do this. Just pull on that feather. Now if your thread starts to move on you, don't worry about that. And you got loose wraps on there anyway. But just make sure everybody stays on top. And then move. Now when you get up towards the tips of the feathers, you got to tighten down the thread a little bit so it don't want to move. Now the way I do the measurement is I have this, uh, I have a needle on my uh, scissors here, a uh, bodkin. Um, I measure the length of the hook. I mean, you can, you can guesstimate, but I need to go down some more. That should be about right. A wee bit more, and she should be good. But tighten up, wrap forward a bit because your thread moved back on you, and stand everybody up. Throw some wraps in front. Now we're going to split them. I tilt it towards me. Now, because you put that V in there, if you just keep working, pulling on them. They'll uh, pretty much uh, split up by themselves. And you can roll them a little bit. Keep them separated. And I like to grab this front guy. Take one wrap in between, one behind. And grab this other side. Take one wrap in between and one behind. Now it's got them pseudo separated. But I'm going to take another wrap in between. And then we come right onto this guy. I'm going to take two loose turns. And I'm really going to tighten them up as I come across. And put two anchoring wraps in front. I'm going to come across to this guy. Do the same thing. Take two nice loose turns around him. Tighten them up as you come around and anchor them. Now don't worry about if your wings are all cocky maybe because you can just go like this and look at that they're standing back up. I'm going to cut this guy out bring your scissor points right in between your wings don't worry about smushing them down and then cut it right on an angle that's going to give you your body taper. Now what a lot of tires like to do myself included 
because it's going to make the tying this fly a lot easier uh, once we get up towards fish, finishing it. You know, it's going to make it a lot easier on yourself. And don't go crazy uh, when you do this because you don't want to add any kind of weight really. Just take a small drop of head cement and drop it right in there. Now soak into those thread wraps, especially the ones that you put around the bases of the feather. And uh, while we're wrapping here, that'll help uh, secure them into position. So I'm going to bring my thread back. Nice touch and turns. Bring it on back. Back to the barb. A little far. Bring it back up. Okay, now the tail. It's just uh, done. Hackle fiber. I like hackle fibers uh, better than uh, micro fibbits. Um, I think they float a lot better. But I just pull pull the uh, hackle fibers 90 degrees from the from the feather. And the tips all line up. And I just grab them and rip them off. Reposition them in my hand. Check the length. You want at least the full length of the body. And off them to my side. Let the torque of the thread bring them up. I'm going to sneak a wrap in behind. And if you can see, I must have caught my thread on the hook point there. I'm fraying a little bit. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to cut these guys to length. Run well, the length of the body. So that way you keep your taper. Now quill. It's just a strip peacock uh, quill. The quill gordon. And I'm soaking in water. These, uh, the way I strip peacock quill is I uh, put them in a, a bath of um, of uh, bleach. Uh, one part bleach, uh, two parts water, and you just swirl them around in there, and the bleach burns uh, all the uh, fuzz right off. But the way I like to do them is I take the short stick part, tie that in on top, and just wrap up. And you can see your body has a nice taper. You get these thread frays out of there. Or a wrap. Now you can put uh, a little bit of like super glue or something down, so that way it uh, helps. Get my tail stood up. But I like to just uh, wrap it and then I coat the body. I'll just make nice touch and turns. right up to a little bit uh, behind the wings because right till now it's pretty much your standard Gordon other than the wings being tied in pretty far up but for the most part pretty much your standard Gordon so far tails looking good body looks good now what I like to do is I take some uh, bug bonds you can use uh, head cement just uh, go light with it. But bug bond uh, flight. And just, nope. Oh, coming out of there in a hurry. But a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. Just a little bit, dab it on the top there. I'm going to take my needle and just spread that right around. Bring that on the underside. Just spread it all around on that quill. Get those thread frays out of there. Oops. Take a look at it, make sure it's an even coat. And just hit it with the torch. Just give her a good uh, outline. The Bug bottom light doesn't take long to dry at all.
Uh, it's very thin. And then we're going to take a... Uh, this is where it gets a really odd. Is we're going to take a peacock hurl. Not a stripped one. Just a regular peacock hurl. Catch that in. Hold in the length. Make sure it's secure. Now I got a done hackle here. It's a short one. But it's not that stiff of a hackle, which I like with this fly. I'm going to cut the hackle barbs off and catch that guy in. Make sure you bring some wraps in the front here. Keep everything balanced. And bring your thread back behind the wings. Now the peacock raw, I like to wind it uh, opposite of the thread. Wind that right on up. Get right against them wings. And then catch it with the thread. Don't catch any of your wings. Two turns, I'll hold it. And bring two turns right in front of the wings. And come on to the back. Now your hackle. Take your hackle pliers. If it was a longer hackle, I wouldn't use the hackle pliers, but she's a short one. And we're only going to make two complete turns with this. Wrapping it forward. Two complete turns. Catch my hackle in on the way up. Tighten her up. Take my hackle pliers off. Catch her in one more time on the way up. Tighten her down. Lift everybody up. Bring two wraps in the front. Don't worry about anybody at this point. Go right into your whip. Don't worry if you catch any kind of hackle fibers. They're usually uh, on the shorter side. You can come in here and snip your hackle out. Don't break it off. Because you're going to be one unhappy fella when it uh, unravels on you. Now what I like to do with this fly... Skin for my peacock feather on there. <laughs> Got that out of there. That's basically the fly. But I like well, I saying what I like to do. I like to, on this one particularly uh, because it does catch plenty of fish. Um, just put a little dab of head cement on that on that head. Just grab everybody, pull everybody back. Bring that head cement in there. Get it all the way around. She's all set. That's your oddball Quill Gordon. I was fishing this fly uh, the other day. Uh, Betises were hatching, and uh, they did not want anything to do, the trout did not want anything to do with any uh, BWO Betis patterns I had. I tied on one of these, and it was. Uh, it was a hatch matcher, despite the fact that it was bases coming off, but the the fish liked it.
and I've used them uh, uh, for quite a while. Uh, the pattern got it from uh, Ed Angle's book, uh, Tying Small Flies. Excellent book. I highly recommend it. Uh, when I'm John in Utah, check me out on my site, www.utahslycorner.com. Thanks for watching. <laughs>